Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn the difference between driver.quit and driver.close. So let's begin. In our previous session, we learned that how to handle the multiple windows and tabs. If you know how to handle multiple tabs and windows, then it would be easier for you to understand the difference between driver.quit and driver.close. So if you don't know how to handle multiple windows and tabs, just go back to my previous tutorial, check out that and then come back to this tutorial. Now, let me tell you the difference between driver.quit and close. If we talk about driver.close, then let me open the browser first to explain you about this one. And let me open multiple tabs here and for example, if you are standing on this third tab and you are using driver.close, then driver.close will close this particular tab only. This means that it will close this tab. It will not close the remaining two of the tabs. Similarly, if we talk about the multiple instances of Chrome or Windows, let me open another Chrome here. Now we have two instances here. Okay. So, for example, if we are standing on the second instance of the Chrome, then driver.close will close the current instance. Let's suppose it will close this one. The second one will remain the same. In contrast, if we talk about driver.quit, it will it will quit the existing existing instance or the session of web driver in short if i simplify this one it will close everything for you in simple words so now let's see that practically let me go to eclipse here and let me create one class here go to new and class and let me type it as close versus quit and let's finish this one let me copy some code of lines from our previous tutorial and let me copy the whole code and see what we actually need or not and we copy this one and paste it here and first this script will go to this internet app.com and then it will switch to to window and in other window it will open google.com now as per this code it will now switch back to the main tab which is this one and after this one if i go here so let's talk about first talk about the tab thing here so driver dot driver dot tab okay now this thing will work in terms of tab so in the first tab, it will open internet app.com. Okay. Then in the second tab, it will open google.com. And after opening the google.com, it will switch back to the main tab, which is the internet app.com. After that, we would be using driver.close. Okay. Now let's run this script and see what happens here so let me run this one first it will open the internet Hiroko app then it will open another tab and open the google.com and now focus will be shifted to initially internet Hiroko app.com and as we discussed that driver.close will close only the current tab or the window and as per this script we are finally on the main tab which was initially internet app.com that's why only google.com remains there right now in contrast if i talk about driver.quit in the same case okay let me save this one and let's run this one now you will see that whole instance of web driver session will be closed nothing will be open everything will be closed in this right so whatever we started everything will be closed 
now let's see this in terms of window now dot window right and here instead of driver dot quit i would be using driver dot close so let me run this one and see and now here two instances of chrome will be open in the first it will go to internet heroku app.com and it will open an other instance of chrome where actually it opened google.com and because script is running a bit faster it went back to the first tab where internet heroku was opened and closes that because at that time of script the current window was internet heroku app and that's why only one instance remaining here right now let's do with driver dot quit and see what happens so let me run this and see what happens now it will close each and everything this means current web driver session will be terminated in short everything will be closed now you see google.com instance is also closed internet here instance also close so that's that's actually difference uh, between driver dot quit and driver dot close now we know that when we have to use driver dot quit and driver dot close so the cases where you only need to close a particular single window current window current tab then you can use driver dot close but if you want to terminate the whole web driver instance which will closes all the your tabs or windows then you need to use driver dot quit Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.